It's Monday, the 15th of May. My name is Juan Brown. You're watching the Blanco Lirio channel. And today we're going to discuss the case against Trevor Jacob, the 29-year-old who intentionally destroyed a BL-65 1940 Taylor craft over the coast range of Central California, November of 2021, in an effort to gain likes, subscriptions, and a sponsorship from the wallet company now facing up to a potential 20 years in prison. Let's check out the actual documents. Here from the United States Attorney's Office, Central District of California on May 11th, a YouTuber pilot has agreed to plead guilty to a felony charge of obstructing a federal investigation by deliberately destroying the wreckage of an airplane that he intentionally crashed in Santa Barbara County to gain online views. Trevor Jacob, 29 of Lompoc, agreed to plead guilty to just the one count of destruction and concealment with the intent to obstruct a federal investigation, a crime that carries a statutory maximum sentence of 20 years in federal prison. Now, you may very well remember this stunt here from his uh, YouTube channel, Adventure, Adventure.com. It was this video here, I Crashed My Airplane, 4.1 million views now, still on YouTube. His channel still has 140,000 subscribers and 121 videos. And he has a, a long history of various stunts in an effort to gain likes and views. But it was this final stunt here in the BL-65 Taylorcraft that landed him in so much hot water, and rightfully so. This aircraft was well known locally. Uh, it was purchased here out of Lincoln, California from a small flight school that was using it as a tailwheel trainer. It was known as Patches locally. <laughs> And, and Trevor came in and bought this thing and, and claimed, I have big plans for this airplane. He bought it for a relatively inexpensive price, but by today's standard, that's still fairly expensive, and then flew the aircraft down to Southern California. As soon as this video came out, it was immediately tagged by the aviation community as an intentional crashing of this aircraft, otherwise perfectly airworthy airplane under the guise of a supposed engine failure. A plea agreement and a one count information charging Jacob were filed Wednesday in the U.S. District Court in L.A. He's expected to make his initial court appearance in the coming weeks. For more on the legal details of this, check out Steve Leto's channel. He's got a YouTube on this particular case where he explains exactly what that means in legal legalese. According to the plea agreement, Jacob is an experienced pilot and skydiver who secured a sponsorship from a company that sold various products, including a wallet, and that's that uh, Revere company. Pursuant to the sponsorship deal, Jacob agreed to promote the company's wallet in a YouTube video that he would post. On November 24, 2021, Jacob took off from in his airplane from Lompoc City Airport on a solo flight purportedly destined for Mammoth Lakes. That's a pretty... <laughs> that alone is nearly an impossible feat a direct flight from Lompoc to Mammoth Lakes over that section of the Sierra Nevada mountains. You would really have to go all the way around the mountains to get there from here. Jacob did not intend to reach his destination, but instead planned to eject from his aircraft. Now that's where they, you don't eject <laughs> from a Taylor craft. A Taylor craft does not have ejection seats. You simply bail out of the airplane and that's exactly what he did bail out from his aircraft during the flight and video himself parachuting to the ground in his airplane as it descended and crashed. He admitted in the plea agreement. Remember, he had cameras strategically located all over the airplane and he was able to recover that data and create the video. Prior to taking off, Jacob mounted several video cameras on different parts of the airplane and equipped himself with a parachute video camera and a selfie stick. Approximately 35 minutes after the takeoff while flying above the Los Padres National Forest near Santa Maria, Jacob ejected from the airplane, no, he bailed out of the airplane, and videoed himself parachuting to the ground. Using the video camera mounted on the selfie stick and the video cameras he mounted on the airplane, Jacob was able to record the airplane as it descended and crashed into the dry brush area in the Los Padres National Forest, lucky he didn't start a forest fire, after parachuting to the ground. Jacob hiked to the location of the wreck and recovered the data containing the video recording of his flight and the crash of the airplane 
Two days later, on November 26, Jacob informed the NTSB about the crash. The NTSB, which launched an investigation into the crash on or about the same day, told Jacob that he was responsible for preserving the wreckage so the agency could examine it. Jacob agreed to determine the crash location and provided both the coordinates of the downed airplane and the videos of the crash to NTSB investigators. Three days later, the FAA launched its own investigation. In the weeks following the plane crash, Jacob lied to investigators, and this is what got him in really hot water, that he did not know the wreckage location. Well, how did he get the video produced then? According to the plea agreement, in fact, on December 10th, Jacob and a friend flew by helicopter to the wreckage site. There, Jacob used straps to secure the wreckage, which the helicopter lifted and carried to Rancho Sisquoc in Santa Barbara County, where it was loaded onto a trailer attached to Jacob's pickup truck. Jacob drove the wreckage to Lompoc City Airport, his home airport, and unloaded it in a hangar. He then cut up the air he then cut up and destroyed the airplane wreckage over the course of a few days, deposited the detached parts of the wreck airplane into trash bins at the airport and elsewhere, which he admitted in his plea agreement was done with the intent to obstruct federal authorities from investigating the November 24th plane crash. The first thing you do when you're in trouble is stop digging a deeper hole. So that was back on December 10th. And then on December 23rd, 2021, that's when the video was uploaded. I crashed my airplane that contained a promotion of the wallet and depicted him parachuting from the plane and the aircraft subsequent crash. Jacob admitted in his plea agreement that he intended to make money through the video. Jacob further admitted that he lied to federal investigators when he submitted an aircraft accident incident report that falsely indicated that the aircraft experienced a full loss of power approximately 35 minutes after takeoff. Jacob also lied to an FAA aviation safety inspector when he said the airplane's engine had quit. And because he could not identify any safe landing options, he had parachuted out of the airplane. The FAA revoked Jacob's pilot's license in April 2022. Let's go take a look at that paperwork. Looks like there may be more trouble here too from the Environmental and Community Safety Crime section prosecuting the case as well. Trash in the forest and the potential of starting a forest fire. You know it's a bad day as an aviator when you receive a letter like this from the FAA. U.S. Express Mail, Certified Mail, Enforcement Division, Western Team. Here's the case against Trevor Jacob, according to the FAA. The acting administrator has determined that an emergency exists related to air safety and air commerce and that an immediate action to revoke your pilot license certificate is required. Based on an investigation and all the evidence, one, you hold a private pilot's license. Two, on or about November 24, 2021, you acted as pilot in command of the 1940 BL-65 Taylorcraft, November 29508 patches, on a flight departing from Lompoc to the vicinity of the Los Padres National Forest. Three, you were the sole occupant. Four, during this flight, you jumped out of November 29508 while wearing a sport parachute backpack container, causing the aircraft to crash into the Los Padres National Forest. Five, you operated this flight to purposely cause November 29508 to crash as demonstrated by the following. One, or A, prior to the flight, you attached multiple cameras on the outside of the aircraft, including a camera pointing in the direction of the propeller in order to record video footage of the outside and inside of the plane during flight. The inside camera was pointed toward him. There was no camera pointed towards the instrument panel. B, prior to this flight, you put on a sport parachute backpack container. C. During this flight, you opened the left side pilot door before you claimed the engine had even failed. D. Prior to jumping out of the aircraft, you made no attempt to contact ATC on an emergency frequency. E. Prior to jumping out, you made no attempt to restart the engine by increasing the airflow over the propeller. This is a good point. BL-65, L means Lycoming. Um, most of these Taylorcraft of this vintage are of no electrical system. They're hand prop aircraft, including this Lycoming powered Taylorcraft. So the procedure to restart these airplanes in flight is to simply increase your airspeed until you begin to windmill the propeller. You get enough speed, it takes quite a bit of speed. If you stop that 
that prop. That's why, by the way, an engine failure or a uh, is landing is called a dead stick landing because the wooden propeller is a dead stick. It takes quite a bit of speed to get that prop spinning again. Once it starts spinning, it it spins right up. But he made no attempt to restart the engine by increasing the airflow over the propeller. In other words, do the restart procedure. Prior to jumping out of the airplane, you made no attempt to look for areas to land safely, even though there were multiple areas within gliding range, which you could have easily made a safe landing. And that was clearly evident in the video. You can see the uh, arroyos and, and uh, flat canyons down below, sandy washes, plenty, plenty of room to do a safe landing. And he had plenty of altitude to get there. You jumped out of the aircraft while holding a camera attached to a selfie stick and continued to record the aircraft during your descent. H, after the crash, you recovered and disposed of the wreckage of the airplane. And I, after the crash, you recovered the cameras that you had attached to the airplane prior to the flight. Six, your flight on November 24th, 2021, as described herein, was careless or reckless so as to endanger the life and property of another. As a result, you violated 14 CFR 91 dot 13 of the FARs that says you can't do that. You can't operate an aircraft in a careless or reckless manner as to endanger the life or property of another. He had no control of the aircraft once he bailed out. It was free flight flighting into the ground. This is the same thing that got the Red Bull team in such hot water over their latest stunt. As a result of the foregoing, the acting administrator finds that you lack the qualifications necessary to hold your private pilot certificate and any other airman certificate issued to you. And the acting administrator therefore has determined that safety in air commerce or air transportation and the public interest requires the revocation of the above mentioned certificates. So effective immediately, he's got to surrender his certificate and no application for a new airman certificate shall be accepted from you, nor shall any certificate be issued to you for a period of one year from the date of service of this order. So does that mean after a year he can get his pilot's license back? And if you fail to surrender it, you're going to suffer a civil pen penalty up to $1,644 for each day that you fail to surrender. Here in the CFRs, we're reminded that we need to immediately notify the NTSB in the event of an aircraft accident as defined here by the CFR. Here in this CFR, we're reminded of our responsibility to preserve the wreckage of the aircraft following an accident. So it looks like Trevor is continuing to offer his services here on Adventure.com for various things like learning how to dive or camp or surf or mountain biking or psychology sessions, each at about $100 per session. And when I initially saw this video of I crashed my airplane, I thought there's something wrong with this guy. And, and looking through his video collection here, it looks like sadly, this is a case of, of potential mental illness or depression. I mean, he's, uh, he's apparently been an accomplished athlete before. And often when you reach the top of some of these athletic events, where do you go once you've reached the top? And he's got a lot of different videos about dealing with depression, um, suicide, stress, confidence. So it's just... It's, it just appears to me to be addiction. It just appears to be another case of another sad case of, of, a, of a mental health situation affecting Trevor Jacobs here. And I, I don't know if he's ever going to be able to get his pilot's license back after pulling such a stunt as this. I hope he gets the help that he needs, but stays out of the air. Thank you so much for your support of this channel, especially the folks over on Patreon that make this content possible. See you here.